Hi, Jamie Ut here from changefromwithin.org. I recently did a video blog entitled The Woodlawn Plantation and the Legacy of Slavery, and in it I talked about my emotional reactions to visiting a plantation that exists on a property called Woodlawn just outside of Davidson, North Carolina. In the video, I mentioned that on the land where the plantation once stood, there's now a school known as Woodlawn School. And a couple of the, the members of the school community pointed out that while I did a great job of talking about the negative history of slavery on that land, I didn't really talk about the incredible things that are happening there now. Because the reality is that Woodlawn School, which is there on the land now, is doing some pretty incredible things to try to change the legacy of that land. So I wanted to take just a little bit of time here today to tell you about some of the things that I experienced while I was at Woodlawn School. In visiting Woodlawn School, I found an incredible community that's dedicated to critical thinking and dealing with the tough issues like the legacy of slavery that I was talking about in that video. I had the chance to work with the middle school students, the high school students, and the faculty for a professional development presentation. And with each of those groups, I found incredible people who were willing to engage with tough questions about diversity and inclusion to try to figure out how they can build the most inclusive campus community possible. In a lot of ways, it was a tremendous oversight of mine to not talk about the incredible community that now exists in a place that was once a very negative space of slavery and human bondage. So I wanted to take the time now to apologize to the Woodlawn community for not having included that very important aspect, but also to encourage you to go to their website, woodlawnschool.org. There you'll learn about everything from the vibrant community that they have through, through sports and activities, to the international service work that some of their students have recently taken part in, to the kind of learning that they're trying to encourage there at the Woodlawn School community. I find it notable and incredible that a vibrant community of learning that empowers its young people to enter the world as globally minded citizens who are prepared to create relationships across difference now exists on the land that was once a plantation. So thank you so much for your time, and I hope that you'll take some time to visit woodlawnschool.org to learn about the incredible community that now exists on what was once the Woodlawn Plantation. Thank you so much.